Hello peeps and welcome back to Mod of Minecraft with Night Dagger. We are on episode 32 I believe and I've got a lot of stuff I want to do today as usual so let's get right into this with... I want an easy way to get back to my base without having to go to my nexus every time and leave a block behind, you know? Because right now in order to get back to my base if I leave I have to go the whole way out or I have to go the whole way to the Nexus using a linking book. And then I have to come back using one of the linking books in the Nexus. I don't want to have to do that anymore. We are going to rely on some RF tool stuff today in order to make this a little easier. Specifically, once NEI cooperates, there we go. We are going to use, where are they? We need to use the matter receiver, which is end stones, machine frame, redstones, and we're also going to use the charged porter, which is end pearls, redstone, and iron. So let's go ahead and get started. We need the matter receiver, which means we need a machine frame, and we got that. Now we need the charged porter, which is block of redstone, which I don't already have. Okay. And uh, there we go. The charged porter can be charged like any other RF powered tool. Uh, let's see here. We're going to need some of our resonant flux ducts because this thing requires power. If you do not have power going into a charged porter and you try to use it, bad shit happens. And by bad shit, I mean you die. So definitely make sure your charged porter, or make sure your matter receiver is charged. Like that. Okay? We're going to go ahead and replace our tiles, because they're just going to hide the flux duct going through the floor. Now we have our charge porter. If we sneak right click, we're going to set that charge porter to this matter receiver. Now anytime we use the charge porter, it's going to teleport us home. So all we got to do is keep the charge porter on us, and we have an easy way to get home from anywhere. This thing works no matter what. It works across dimensions. It works. In, it, it, it works. That's that's what you need to know. It works. Now, I also am tired of having to go out and get matter or get uh, V from all of the nodes around the world. Like it's convenient having this one here, but I need more than one, right? So what I want to do is I want to start moving all of my nodes into a single unified location. By the way, I did a little bit of uh, building off camera. Tell me, tell me if you guys like this, because I do. I think this looks awesome. Got light blue stained glass protecting my upstairs now. Okay, so, let's sleep through the night, and I'm going to show you two methods that I have identified for being able to move nodes in this pack. The first one is the way Thalmcraft wants you to do it. That is using glass and wooden slabs, and may as well get my Thalmonomicon so I can show you guys the Thaumonomicon entry. <clears throat> and for this we're going to want our Thaumaturgist equipment. Although I actually need to be wearing my jetpack for the first part of this. Alright, in the Thaumonomicon there's an entry. Where is it? I think it's under Thaumaturgy. Maybe not. Is it under basic? 
Yeah, under basic information, note in a jar, for the thaumaturgist on the go. Basically, it takes 70 of each type of V. You surround a node in glass and use a wooden slab or use wooden slabs on top. Feed it 70 of each type of V. And you will get a node in the jar. And with the node in the jar, you can pick it up and move it. This sounds awesome. However, there's two problems with this method. We're going to go grab this node over here using this method so that you guys can see it not see it in action. This, by the way, is how I move that other node closer to my base. I promised I'd show you guys how I did it. Well, I'm about to. All right, we've got this node here. This node is 43 air, 42 ignis, right? Let's get ourselves a few building blocks because we're going to need to build up to it. Okay, and this is directly under it. Alright, glass under it. Like that. Glass around it. Like that. Glass over top of it. Like that. That puts it in a nice little jar. wooden slabs over top, and then using our wand, this is where we're going to want to switch out for our thaumaturgist robe for the discount. Wand currently has 100, 100, 99, 100, 82, 86, right? Boom! We have, the, we have a note in the jar. Yeah, it's 43 air, 42 ignis. Let's break it. Now, we're going to use our charge porter. Start teleportation. Whoosh! We're back home. And it used barely any energy. Because we weren't teleporting that far. Let's go ahead and put that back on. Now we're going to come downstairs into my Thaumcraft room. And I have a nice place set up where I'm going to be doing my wands. I don't know if I've shown you guys this yet, but this is where I'm going to be doing my wand room. I like it. Make sure I don't even need this torch because the lava stone puts out its own ambient light. So, I like this. Now, in the center of this room we're going to want something. And I think I did the research for this off camera. If not, I need to do it now. I didn't do it. Okay. So, we're going to do a research on camera. Need some paper. Need my scribing tools. And we are going to get the research note for wand recharge pedestal. I can put most of the stuff away for right now. I'm going to keep this. Now, notice that the node that I have in my node in a jar is now a pale node. This is the this is one of the problems with moving a node via Thumbcraft, is you have a chance of damaging the node while doing it. It consumes a crap ton of E and you can damage the node. So it kind of sucks. Alright, what do we got? We have Aurum. We have Perdicia, we have Potentia, and we have... Uh, yeah, the, the link's going to be Ordo. So, Precantio. Uh, Potentia. Precantio. Eh. Kind of don't want to do that. But, well, we got Vacuos. No, because then I'd need... Yeah, see, I, I, I really kind of don't want to use another Potentia here, but I'm going to have to, I think, because of the way I did this. Son of a bitch. No, I didn't want to do that. My mouse is still trolling me. 
All right, that's going to link Aurum and Potentia. Um, we're going to have to go with Vacuos to make this link. Because I want to save... Yeah, we're going to go Vacuos. No. Vacuos. Vacuos there. Vacuos will link to Potentia. If we go Vacuos here... Actually, no. Potentia... Yeah, we're going to go... No, no, no. Don't need to do that. We're going to go... Precancio, there, Ordo, or no, Potentia, we're going to have to use one of our last Potentia, I didn't need, I did not need to use that Precancio, so we'll get rid of it, maybe get it back, I don't know, um, and then Ordo, Wand Recharge Pedestal, awesome, we now have the ability to make a Wand Recharge Pedestal, and that gives us Compound Recharge Focus and V Storage. And V Charging Relay. Hmm. No idea what that is. Alright, for this, we're going to need a Primal Charm. We're going to need a Diamond. We're going to need two Diamonds. And we're going to need a Gold Ingot and an Arcane Pedestal. The Primal Charm is one of each node. Now, notice it's going to take a lot of V. And our wand, <laughs> it's mostly discharged. But, I think we're okay. It's going to take one of each type of shard, including a balanced shard. I just so happen to have a few. Ah. Uh. Balance shard. And we need two pieces of gold. I'm going to put our Thaumaturgist robe back on for this. The only reason it was so cheap to move that node, the only reason why I have so much V left in my wand is because I was wearing the Thaumaturgist equipment. So I'm paying currently 80% of the normal V cost. Otherwise it would have been 75 of each essence to move the node. And it would have sucked. All right. What are we looking at for the Primal Charm? Air, Earth, Water. Or Air, Fire, Water. Air, Fire, Water. Earth, Entropy, Order, Balance. Wait, what was going on here? It looked like I had the ability to craft something. Oh, a mixed crystal cluster. Okay. Primal Charm. Drained almost all of the V out of my wand. It's okay, though. We're going to need an arcane pedestal. I think I made an extra one. Yep, we've got an extra arcane pedestal. We're going to need two diamonds. And what was the last thing we needed? A piece of gold. Piece of gold. Alright, what do we need for aspects? We need Aurum, we need Permutatio, we need Precantio. Okay, I've got the 15 Precantio, although I might want a little extra. Got Ignis, Air... Okay, I need Permutatio, and I need Precantio. <clears throat> need a little Precantio. Let's come up here. And do I have any... Oh, what the hell? Uh, do I have any Alimentium? Yes, I have some Alimentium. What's a good source of Precantio? I know what I'm using as my source of Aurum. Precancio. This 
silver ore log. Seems about the best. Silverwood log gives me one, but it also gives me three arbor and one order. I don't really need that. I haven't analyzed Quicksilver. Uh, I'm sure Quicksilver's got to give something. What about a Quicksilver drop? Okay, Quicksilver drop is just one metallum. So that's actually a decent way to get metallum if I need to do transmutations. All right. That's entropy. Okay. Um, Ender pearl. Ender pearls are two precantio. Hmm. I kind of don't want to have all of that extra arm, or all of that extra crap just floating around, you know? The arbor, particularly. Great wood. Thaumium. Great wood, I have the same problem, except I don't get the ordo. Uh, we're just going to have to do Silverleaf. Or silverwood. So I need eight silverwood logs. We're going to need some magnetite. Really? Processed all my magnetite, huh? Yeah, well, we're just going to use some lodestone then. Because um, lodestone actually gives me more. And we need copper because copper is a good source of yeah uh, I know what I'm trying to say I really do talum arbor vitreous potentia fabricio okay I don't currently have any of these all right back down and do I have anything currently in any of these? Doesn't look like it. So, we're going to start, I think, with... How much of each do we need for this? I need 10 Aurum, 15 Percantio, 15 Permutatio. So, we're going to start with the Aurum. We're going to do 8 Magnetite. We're going to burn an Alimentium. Because Alimentium increases the transfer rate. I need to get my porter off my inventory. Or I'm going to accidentally port. And then I'm going to be pissed. All right, that did all of that. We're going to do the silverwood next. This is going to get us our potentia and our arbor. Meanwhile, we're going to take this aurum. We're going to put it in our bell jar over here. Or not our bell jar, but you know what I mean. We've got some Brachantia, we've got some Ordo, we've got a lot of Arbor coming up. Okay, Ordo. We're going to put in there. Brachantio, we'll put in there. We should have a few more Arbor coming up. Now, I am probably going to need another Warded Jar, because I don't have a free one. So let's go ahead and get another warded jar. That is a Thaumcraft research, so I have to look it up in here. Uh, 
that is an artifice thing, isn't it? Apparently not. Alchemy. There we are. Alchemy. Uh, one water, glass panes, and some sort of slab. Alright, let's go ahead and put these in here. I'm just going to get myself a couple of them. Should have at least four water in here. Yep. Got a few more of these jars. We can put around here. It's not really necessary to keep the balance with the jars. I just like to do it. Okay, and I don't think we're actually going to need Arbor for anything, but since I've got some extra jars, I may as well put it in the jars. Okay, what are you? You are Metallum. I think I don't have a Metallum jar yet. You are Vitreous, which I don't think I have one for you either. Yeah, that's all of my primals over there, and my Precantio. Uh, let's see here. The last thing that we needed was... Change. We're going to need to do 16 copper to get the amount of... Change essence that we needed. We're actually going to do... 8 more. This is going to get us a crap load of metallum. And not a whole lot of or permutatio. We're probably going to want to find a better way to crystallize these essences. Which, there is a way. But I haven't gotten there yet. And we're spilling out little bits of extra stuff. Okay, that should be close to it. Well, that really put out a lot. Okay. That's a lot of metallum. And we're still burning off this. So I'm going to go ahead and burn off 16 more lodestone. Just to have it. Permutatio. Metallum. That's all the metallum I can hold. So we'll put the rest of it in my storage system for right now. Okay, Vitreous. Aurum. And what are you? Metallum? More metallum? Holy crap. There. That should have prevented us from using all of our... Oh, we still have half of the one left, but whatever. I was trying to avoid wasting the alimentium, but I don't think I'm going to get away with that. Vitreous. Vitreous is over here. We're going to work out a better way to transfer this stuff later. But for right now, this is doing what we need it to do. Let's put some of this stuff away. We don't need the slabs. We don't need any of that. The node in the jar we're going to keep on us. But this stuff we don't need. Don't need that torch. 
don't need any more of the glass files for right now. We don't need our alimentium. We did need those diamonds, damn it. Two diamonds. I also want to get some skulls. Notice I've got 16 wither skeleton skulls. I went ahead and made myself a new toy off camera. I have a Manulian cleaver with beheading six. 80% <laughs> chance to behead. I went and killed some skeletons. And the nether. We got some skeleton skulls. So, yeah, that's, that's a thing. Let's go ahead and place ourselves some skeleton skulls. In the corners. Just like this. They're going to watch over this for us. Alright, now. Business time. Infusion. Arcane pedestal in the middle. Diamonds on either side. Primal charm. One corner. Gold. Opposite. Now, this is a little risky because I don't have a second primal charm set up. If this infusion fails and it consumes my primal charm, I'm pretty well screwed. The instability on this is minor, so we shouldn't have to worry about it. Shouldn't. Being the keyword. And I threw my wand in there, didn't I? Or, no, I left my wand on the table. But I don't feel like going out and getting all of the stuff necessary to make this... make another primal charm. So we're going to go ahead, cross our fingers, and we're going to start this infusion. So, we're going to pull all of the Essentias that we need. We're done pulling Aurum, we're pulling Percancio. Now we're pulling Permutatio. We're absorbing Gold. We're absorbing Diamond. We're absorbing the Primal Charm. We're absorbing the Diamond. And we have ourselves a wand recharge pedestal. Let's take him in here and put him in the middle of the room. Smack in the middle. Which would be right there. Alright. We've got ourselves a wand recharge pedestal. That's awesome. If we have nodes nearby, we can put our wand in here. And it'll automatically recharge our wand. But we don't have any nodes nearby. I have a node in a jar. Which is awesome. Let's go ahead and put him down. We're going to put him down right here. Boink. Right click him with the wand to release him back into the world. Right? Right. We put our wand in here. We're going to see it start pulling. It's going to pull. Until it's full. There we go. We've got four air, four ignis left in this node. However, remember it is now a pale node. Its recharge time is reduced. Also, it says 3-6. That says 4-4. Four, four. Whatever. Anyway. Remember I said earlier that there's two ways to move a node? I'm about to show you the other. Blood magic gives us a way to move things in the world using LP. There's an item called the Teleposer, which is fairly easy. It's Teleposition Focus, Ender Pearls, and Gold. Teleposition Focus is made by binding an Ender Pearl in a Tier 4 altar with 2000 LP. Let's get ourselves three teleposition focuses. There we 
We're going to wait. Actually, okay, that system's disabled. No, I don't want to throw my ender pearl. Son of a bitch. I want to turn the lever. It's okay, I want to get my divination sigil anyway. Alright, and... Ender Pearl. This also seems like a good time to make another sigil. There is a sigil. Where is it? The Sigil of Sight, I think. Holding, Green Grove, Whirlwind. What does it take to make a Sigil of Sight? Divination Sigil, Bucket of Life, Apprentice Orb... Alright, so let's make ourselves another divination sigil, which is a blank slate. Do I have any blank slates? No. It's okay, it's just stone. And we're going to need a bucket. Let's head downstairs. And we are going to step on the pedestal. We're going to place a piece of stone in here. We're going to wait for it to infuse. Got it. We're going to put a bucket in here. Wait for it to infuse. That gives you a bucket of life. Right? Back upstairs. Blank slate. With glass. And an orb. It's a divination sigil. Replace a couple of things like that, and you get a sigil of sight. Sigil of sight works kind of like the divination sigil, except it should allow me to see the progress of infusions. See, using the sigil of sight, I can tell how much LP is in the altar. But if I put my ender pearl on here and start right clicking, we're going to see Alter's Progress is showing. I don't want to infuse that further. It's going to show me the Alter's Progress in the current infusion. So this thing is neat to have when you're doing infusion stuff for LP. All right. We've got three teleposition focuses. We're going to put two of them in here. And we're going to make two teleposers. And we're going to get a lever. Teleposers allow you to move nodes. Believe it or not. I can only sleep at night. Let's fix that problem. It's night now. All right, put our ender pearl away. Let's go find ourselves a node. We're going to need an angel block. And we're going to need to be wearing my jetpack. Well, there's an Aqua Terra Perdicio node right out there, right? Let's go get him. Actually, there's an Aqua Ordo node very close, so we'll grab him. Here we are. Aqua Ordo. Right there. Beautiful. Let's put that down. And I'm going to need a couple of building blocks in order to build over to him. So let's go grab us some earth. Just a couple of bits. Okay, that's about perfect. So, we'll land here. Break him. There we go. We're going to place a teleposer underneath this node. We're going to right-click the node with the teleposition focus. That's going to bind that teleposition focus to that node.
we're going to fly back over here and for the sake of demonstration I'm going to teleport this node right next to the other one we've got here. So this node that I moved over here earlier, put the teleposer down, we're going to right click that, we're going to put this teleposition focus in, which is bound to the other one over there, right? Let's fly back out here. We're going to put a lever on the side of this, flip it, why didn't you work? Does it have to be on the receiving end? That's going to suck. Well, not really, I mean, it, it's not going to make much of a difference. All right, let's try it on the receiving end. Boink! Hello. We have a note here. <laughs> However, there's a problem. You guys who are familiar with Thumbcraft might know the problem. Two nodes sitting next to each other aren't happy campers. They're going to start fighting for dominance. Now, I think this node here is eventually going to probably win, because it's got more total V than this node, but I don't know. However, two nodes sitting close to each other like this will start fighting for dominance. One will start absorbing the other. It might actually be this node that starts absorbing this node, because I think this is a pale, because I moved it. There's blazes in there. Anyway. To prevent this, we need to place something underneath the other nodes. We need to place something underneath the nodes that we have in our wand recharge room. That other thing that we need is the node stabilizer, which is 32 of each type of thing, some nitor, blocks of quartz, gold, and some nitor. Well, I've got my wand. I've got a couple of nodes here that I can start harnessing from. I'm not going to do much good trying to harness it with a lever. Up. Oh. Did you hear that? There was a zap. Yep, we got interaction going. And we actually accidentally absorbed all of the water out of this node because it stole some. So that node might only be Ordo now. But it's alright. Alright, we're going to need a piston. We're going to need some Nitor. We need two blocks of quartz. What else was it? Uh, two arcane stone bricks. Which is made really easily. Alright, so we got our two blocks of quartz. We got our two arcane stone bricks. We got our piston, we got our nitor, and then it was gold on top, right? Yeah, gold on top. Gold on top, requiring 32 of each V. I don't have enough ordo V. 
24, I need 32. Well, I'm actually not going to need 32. Okay, we did recharge a little bit of aqua. Just going to go ahead and absorb most of that. We'll let them just sit there and fight for a little bit. Alright, pop that in there. We're going to put on our Thaumaturgist robe, so we're only paying 79% cost. 80% cost. That's going to get us a node stabilizer. One node stabilizer. Yes, this is going to be a fairly expensive process as far as V goes. Getting these things to play nicely. You place a node, you place a node stabilizer under a node, and it gives it a little protective shield. That is going to prevent this node from being, a f it's going to prevent the nodes from fighting, is the long and the short of it. Now, downside. The node stabilizer draws its power from the node. It won't actually absorb any V, but it will have the recharge rates. So, this was already a pale node which means its recharge rate was already halved. This node now has one quarter the normal recharge rate. This node actually kind of sucks. We're going to leave it here anyway. But I'm going to go out into the world, off camera, and I am going to grab a bunch more nodes. And we're going to bring them back to our base, and it's going to be awesome. I'm going to make myself some more, re uh, some more uh, node stabilizers. I will eventually split these two nodes up after they're done fighting with each other. But I'm going to wait and see <clears throat> which one of these two wins the battle for dominance and absorbs the other. The rest of the nodes, I'm going to go out into the world and I'm going to grab them from out there. We're going to leave that hungry node there because that thing scares me right now. And I only know one safe way to move a hungry node. And I'm not, I'm not really wanting to do that yet. So. For right now, though, this has been Night Dagger with episode 32 of Mod of Minecraft with Night Dagger, season 5. I'm going to do some work off camera. I will come back, and when I come back, I should have a bunch of nodes down in my Thaumcraft room ready for some awesomeness. Next episode, I think we might do something a little bit risky, a little bit dangerous, and a little bit fun. So, hope you guys are looking forward to that. I'll catch you later, peeps.